All right, if you just saw game five of Bucks versus Celtics, you just saw one of the worst calls I have ever seen in my time in watching the NBA because Al Horford had the ball. The Bucks were playing great defense. They were down five. It was 84-79. Al Horford had the ball in his hands. He took a long contested two that missed, and it was a shot clock violation. It was very clearly, clearly a shot clock violation. You can see on the literally, literally, you can see on the thumbnail of this video that it was a clear shot clock, shot clock violation. The NBA officials did not call it, and then the the Celtics got the rebound. They got it back. Rozier, Rozier is fouled, and then the they 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 don't make a shot on the ensuing possession. They don't. But it wasted a good at least twenty four seconds of the time. It. it completely ruined any chance Milwaukee had to come back in the game and it was a complete abomination unfreaking believable I've never seen anything like it this is a playoff game this is this game very well could decide the series and you're literally not going to call that I don't know whether it's a question of the the NBA just told their whistle their their referees to swallow their whistles or they were just too, that oblivious but it's the freaking playoffs you have to call that you can't, it's the playoffs, it was a very, it wasn't like it was close, the ball wasn't like in his fingertips, it was clearly in his hands, and they didn't call it. I, I have never been so frustrated by a call. It ruined any chance the Bucks had it coming back, and I'm not saying that that cost the Bucks a game. The Bucks played terrible offensively the entire time, and at the end of the day, they might well have just lost anyways. But the fact of the matter is, the Bucks got robbed of a chance to come back and win this game because the NBA officials swallowed their whistles when Al Horford clearly committed a shot clock violation. You can see very clearly on every angle you look that the ball is in his hands when the shot clock expires. I am livid about this and the NBA needs to fix it. If it were up to me, the after the two minute report, we're going back, we're starting the game from that point and we're giving the ball to the Bucks. No, I'm not saying that that's ever going to happen. Obviously it isn't. The NBA is too scared and too confident in officials to do that. But when a call impacts a game by that much, you have to go back and and re and and reassess your situation as the uh, uh, for your officials. And I I actually I. I, I made a comment on the officials earlier a few weeks ago when uh, it clearly wasn't a foul on Gary Harris that sent the game to overtime against the Nuggets uh, a few weeks ago. But, I, I mean, I, I've just, I am just so livid at this. This is just an abominable, abominable call, a disgrace to officiating, a disgrace to the game, and it cost the Bucks a chance. And I am a Bucks fan, yes, I am. I love the Bucks. but any NBA fan will tell you that that, cost the Bucks a chance to win the game and it cost them a chance to win to come back and win it and I there's just no words right now there's just there's just really there's it, it, it's got to change it has to change and if the Bucks if the Bucks lose the series we're gonna go back to that very moment and say that's the moment that changed it